Okay. So now let's discuss the types of containers. Containers are classified into two types. One is local container. Other one is shared container. Okay. So what is local container? So it is restricted to at the job level, only job level. So job level containers are local containers. Okay, so shared containers are project level containers. So we can reuse in other project level containers. Okay, so for example, I have a employee tax to be calculated. Okay, so EMP tax. Okay, employee salary 10%. Oh, okay, so 10% will be employee tax. Ten percent employee employee salary ten percent is the employee tax. Okay, so the salary of employee ten percent belongs to the employee tax. So I need to apply this logic in uh, multiple jobs. Okay, so any logic that you can create in uh, data states, so that can be can be reused. Okay, so these containers are reusable components. What is container? It's a reusable component that can be used anywhere in the job. Okay, containers are reusable components okay so this particular component can be reused anywhere okay within the job or across the project also so within the job level containers are local containers okay so project level containers are shared containers okay so now let's see that so here I will calculate uh, employee tax for a employee table for employee file. Okay, so Yeah, and creating a save as Jesse in real time the shared containers should be done by us only or any admin team will be doing this. It has to be. We only okay. Yeah, yeah. So our data stage experts will be there. May maybe five Seniors. plus experience, uh, yeah, four plus above experience. Seniors only they will do, they will create a yes, and that can be reused by all the people in the team. Okay, okay. Okay, so click on save. So here I will use transformer. So only in a transformer only we will do this all these calculations. Okay. This is for job level, no? I will, yeah, yeah. Normally, if just I'm calculating the tax, I will show you which is job level, which is project level. So I'm adding okay. a new one here. Okay. Integer. Or yes. Okay. So here what you can do? Salary column, input column. 
multiplied by 10 percent into so 10 percent means 1.1 10 by 100 so that is 0.1 right so this is the amplitude so uh, this terminology we will call it as a data scrubbing, creating a new definition from the existing source definition. So, employee tax is not coming from source, we are generating the column in the uh, intermediate level. And since it is needed in our uh, target place. Okay. Click on OK. Now, let's modify this button. Okay, so create new index. Let's see this particular table is clear or not. So this table does not exist. We are good to create EMB tags. Click on OK. Then you compile and run the data. Now let's see this. You can see the employee calculation here. Employee tax calculation. So salary 1250, 10 percent means 125. So like that it has been calculated. Okay. So now then how to create a containers? Okay, so just a minute. How to create a container. So container uh, can be created through the option edit. Okay, so here it is in disable mode. To create any container, click on the uh, any uh, any active stage where the business logic uh, there has been established. Okay, so you need to click on that uh, data processing stage. Okay, so source and target. In all the stages, how many? There are uh, few, 10 stages or 5 stages that uh, the logic has been created. Just may, um, copy everything. Just uh, highlight those, th those things and go to edit option. Create a cons uh, constructed container. So here it can, it can be constructed via local or shared. Okay, so local container, as I told you, that can be used in within the specific job. So click on local. So this is the local container. You can see this. So, so this can be used in this job only. It cannot be reused. It cannot be saved in any repository. Okay, so if you want to use this uh, container, it, it is limited, limited to this particular job only. And you can use the same container within the same job only. Okay, so that is the local container. <coughs> okay, so deconstruct. So when you deconstruct it, it will come to the original state. Okay, so then how to create a shared container? Same thing, go to highlight that uh, logical area, share, click on share. So it will ask for save. So here, uh, here so here under codes are not allowed. Okay. So click on save. So this can be saved in a repository. You can see, see this here. Okay. So now close this.
So now what I will do? Clear canteen has been created. So I need to apply the logic. Okay. We'll create a new job. Uh, consider the employee salary. Reused. So here, uh, uh, I call employee file again, okay? So here I need to load the data in a file, okay? So here I will load the data in a file, in a sequential file. I need to use the shared container. So what is the approach? Drag and drop the shared container from there. So we have created the shared container, right? Just drag and drop. Okay, so now double click on this and go to input. You have to validate the input uh, columns. Validate. Okay, so you can uh, suppose I have deleted all the columns. How to uh, reconcile? Can we reconcile? Can be done from the container. Okay, like that. And similarly, I have. Uh, deleted all the columns here. Okay, so go to general, validate this. Okay. So first of all, we have to reconcile this. Then only you can validate the column. Okay, so now uh, validate. So from the link, we have validated the columns. Reconcile the columns. From the container, we have uh, reconcile the uh, columns. Okay. So no need to define metadata you think. Just we need to reconcile the columns and uh, map the container from input to output. Okay. So that is the purpose of a share container. Normally you can uh, we have created a share container in real time to validate the email addresses. Okay. So there is some logic that has that we have developed and with uh, some uh, Checking constants, I mean, checking some validations and all. So that can be used uh, across uh, multiple jobs. Okay. So this, there, this is one of the examples. Okay. So now click on OK. So earlier, while creating container, we have loaded it in a table, but we have created file here. Okay. So create the file. So Click on save. First line consider as the header. So click on OK. Now, save and come. Let's view the data. So it has been successful. Job has been successful. Okay. 
So we have saved all the time uh, for uh, the logic control. Just to have used the existing container and uh, developed our tab and uh, generated the expected output what, what we need. Okay, so you can see the tax here. 800 is already 10 percent is 80. Okay, so this is the way to calculate. Uh, employee tax and uh, we have used the shared container logic. Okay, so earlier we have earlier job we have developed a container and this uh, that particular container whatever it is stored in repository and that has been reused in, in another job. Okay, so this is about uh, shared containers. Okay, containers. So common entry question is have you created any containers? Okay, so you can enter, you can tell that. Uh, uh, for any email validation or uh, any employee tax, I have created a container. So you can uh, mention the same way what we what we have done in the job here. Okay. So other approaches like uh, uh, sometimes no. So below three years experience, if you go, go, going for an interview. So in the, in the, if that is the case. So I never create a container, but I have an idea how to create a shared container uh, containers and how to use reuse it, apply it, okay? So just uh, for knowledge sake, uh, for interview sake, you have to go through this, okay? So any questions, guys? Sir, uh, source metadata and container metadata are both are same? No, 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 it will be different, right? So here we have added uh, one new column, no? So this metadata can be, Reconcile from the container. So no need to define the metadata here. So from the uh, reconcile, from the load, reconcile, reconcile from the container. So that means what? Uh, from the input, uh, container, in the input and output. From the container, what are the metadata is there? That can be considered. Okay. So most of the cases, input or output metadata will be a different. Any other questions? Uh, 